Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. Now today I would like to show you two patients with a similar disease like this girl had a penetrating trauma one year back. Patient is uh, no perception of light. Uh, you can see that the left eye appears uh, smaller than the right eye and there is a little uh, partial uh, ptosis as well now parents are worried that uh, gradually the eyeball is uh, getting smaller shrinking in size so and you can also see cataract in the left eye you can see the white pupil the right eye is totally normal but the white pupil in the left eye so i diagnosed her as a case of uh, first case of thysis bulbi now what is thysis bulbi it is atrophic shrinkage and disorganization of the eye and intraocular contents not all blind eyes go into the thysis if intraocular pressure is maintained by ciliary body so the first stage of the thysis bulbi is atrophic bulbi without shrinkage in which the external appearance is normal but IOP is elevated in this stage the lens becomes cataractous retina detaches anterior and posterior sinus form and now I am showing you the second case of thysis bulbi this boy had penetrating ocular trauma two years back vision is uh, NPL eyeball is soft parents are again worried that the eyeball is getting smaller you can now this boy has more advanced thysis than the girl and again you can see the ptosis as well as the small eyeball and you even you can see irregular limbus as well so the pseudotosis occurs because the upper lid rests on the eyeball so as eyeball becomes smaller the lid resting position becomes down now you can see the extra ocular movements also becomes limited as the thysis progresses so that's a very grave situation the treatment is also not very much promising so now let's come to the stages the second stage called atrophia bulbi with shrinkage eye becomes soft because persistently elevated pressure causes ciliary body dysfunction globe becomes smaller and assumes square shaped due to the tone of the recti cornea becomes vascularized and opacified then the last stage is thysis bulbi size further decreased to 15 to 16 millimeter in diameter from 24 uh, millimeter intraocular calcification disc organization of the intraocular contents bone formation occurs and sclera becomes thickens now the treatment options are silicon oil insertion evisceration with ball implant cosmetic prosthetic shell now we will discuss causes most common cause is trauma like in these two cases then surgery infection inflammation retinal detachment uh, for long time malignancy and vascular lesions can also lead to thysis bulbi so i hope after watching this video your concept of thysis bulbi becomes clear thank you